In this video, we're going to discuss hunting a variety of mushroom species. Many of you are familiar with the morale mushroom, which is gathered in the springtime. Here are a few of the more common fall varieties. Fall mushrooms have a wider range, a longer growing season, and they usually can be gathered or grown generally in much greater quantities. Because of the large quantities in which fall mushrooms can be gathered, they can also pre be preserved three different ways for later use. They can be preserved by drying, freezing, or canning. Let's take a look as our hunters gather a species known as pink bottom or pinkies. Cut one off here. What they must have did is they didn't take them all. Video of that here. here. See that? Let's get that. Oh, it's coming up in a circle. Got a lot of them in here in a circle. Easily be distinguished yeah, by their soft white top yeah. and their pink gills underneath. They grow quite large, like a portobello, reaching a foot in diameter. They grow in open areas and meadows like other species, such as the shaggy mane, which can be identified by its long conical head shaped like in a closed umbrella. One of the more common woodland species is a honey fungus or stump fungus, commonly referred to as stumpies. This highly prophylic species can be gathered in extremely large numbers. It tends to cluster around stumps or buried wood Rather large clusters, tightly wound together, can be found on or near decaying wood. This species can be found growing year after year off the same stumps or wood or in the same general area. There is controversy over whether a person should cut or pull the fungus. I personally prefer to cut the fungus without disturbing the mycelium. The mycelium are tiny root-like hairs which come together forming the fruiting body which is the mushroom itself. Where these tiny hairs come together in large clumps, this is what forms the mushroom. With the fall foliage in full swing, Many fungus can oftentimes be hard to find, hard to spot, the forest floor, 
With all the fall colors, the yellows and browns, they can blend in quite well. Oftentimes the stump fungus can be grown singularly or in small groups out in the middle away from stumps in unseen buried wood. Broken or extra pieces of the fungus can be spread around stumps or decaying wood and actually start new colonies. A person must train their eye to spot the color and the texture of this particular fungus. Another very popular and common fungus, which is a polypore fungus, often referred to as the hen of the woods. Got it. Yeah. It's a little tough cut that tight to the tree. Man, I got one so big, I had a quarter of that thing to get it in a in a bag. Hmm. That was a big one. Yeah, they're doing pretty good this year, huh? Oh yeah. Now, does the frost affect them or kill them or anything? Or? No, nah, not really. It'll these no. Mm -hmm. The stump bees, not really. But you know, they're not gonna set as long, especially if you're getting a lot of frost. Uh huh. See, so, you know, John, what I do, I'll trim all this. And use it for spreading around. You uh -huh. take the bulk of the mushroom. You know? uh -huh. That's good enough. I just want to. This particular species can be quite large, with two or three specimens filling a garbage bag. It is easily identified in the fact that on its underside it has holes or tiny pores instead of gills like most fungus. It generally grows around hardwood stumps or live trees with decaying wood. Another close relative to this fungus is the sulfur shelf, often referred to as the chicken of the woods. Hey, you want me to cut her off then? Yep. Don't cut too down too far. You don't want to rip that out of there. There you go. Easily identified in its bright orange to yellow color and its underside which also has pores instead of gills. Mushrooms can also be grown by the hobbyist or commercially. Today, there are companies that supply all the equipment necessary to grow mushrooms. One such company is Field and Forest Products, which is a wide selection of products to choose from. It can be found easily on the internet by going to fieldandforestproducts.com. Watch as we demonstrate one of these products called plug spawn. A wooden dowel is used. The dowel is already impregnated with spawn and is injected into the log to allow complete colonization of the fungus itself. Once the inoculation is complete, the log is then sealed with wax to prevent loss of moisture and placed outdoors to wait for the harvest. We hope this video has helped you come to know more about collecting or growing mushrooms.